Hey guys, I'm Scully and welcome to Scully's Creations. Today we are using Polar McClay to make some planters. We're going to make a really cute one, a chic one, and a um, more modern one with some rose gold touch. So if you are into planty things and creativity, please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is gonna warm up the clay. And all you have to do to warm up the clay is pretty much warm it up in your hands as much as possible. It is really hard at first, but once you warm it up in your hands, it becomes a lot easier. After it's all warm and I've made a circular ball, <laughs> circular ball, huh? <laughs> once I've done that, all I'm going to do is press in the center like I'm doing here. Basically what that's going to do is give us the exact shape that we are looking for to make this really cute planter. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Once I've got the planter to look like a little cup, I'm going to go ahead and poke the bottom to make drainage holes because remember I, I mean whatever planner, whatever plan you're going to put in this is totally up to you but I like to have drainage holes better safe than sorry in my opinion. Next step, I'm going to make a, another smaller piece and basically what I'm going to do here is roll it. Now here is where I'm going to start cutting out the feet. Uh, surprise, surprise, I am making a Pokemon. <laughs> this is gonna be our cute planter. Trust me, just trust the process. It is going to come out super cute. But here I'm just kind of sketching out how I want it, how big I want it to be. And then from there, I actually get the exact measurements and that's actually how big I needed it to be on the cup that we just made. After that, we're just going to make two of those because, again, these are going to be the feet. Once I'm done, I'm going to smooth everything out. Here, as you can see, I'm patting down the little cup that we made just because I just want everything to be as smooth as possible. I mean, we are doing this by hand, but once we are done with that, I'm going to go ahead and start putting those little feet on. If you can already guess what Pokemon this is going to be, by all means, let me know down in the comments below. So here you see me using a knife to make little X's, but primarily what you want to do is just smooth the clay or excuse me not smooth but press the clay onto each other so that way it sticks uh once it's baked you don't want it to fall off so as the more you press on to it the better it's gonna stick and those little x's just help the clay stick together a little bit more And here I'm just smoothing it out a little bit more by using some water. Next up is for us to make those eyes and carve out that mouth.
So to bake, we are going to lay down some wax paper. Go ahead and put our little Pokemon planter in there. And we are going to bake for 2.75 for an hour and 30 minutes before we actually go ahead and flip it over. Once we flipped it over, we're gonna bake for another 45 minutes at 275. Once our planter is done baking, we're gonna go ahead and paint it whatever color you'd like. I went ahead and went with a very, very light green. It almost looks white, but you'll see later it has a very light tint of green. And once you are done painting and she is dry, this is the finished result. Guys, you cannot tell me that this isn't the cutest thing you've ever seen. It's so cute! Alright, to start off our chic planter, we are going to start off with a ball. <laughs> And we're actually gonna do three different sizes because this is gonna be a set of three. Once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and roll them out. Obviously, when we wanna roll each of them out, so we're gonna do this three times. Once we've done that, we should have three circles. And once we've completed that, we are gonna, sh I'm shaping them into, I'm literally just squishing them like together. I don't know, I wanted a, I wanted a weird shape, something different. So this is what I went with. And just again, trust the process because they come out really cute. Now here you see me poking holes because I wanna be able to let, um, allow them to hang. And of course, we need that drainage hole because whatever plant you want to put in here, it's just better to have drainage holes for your plants. If, unless you are comfortable with non-drainage hole planters, that's up to you, but your girl's not. Not yet, anyways. Once we have completed our drainage holes, we are going to go ahead and lay it out on wax paper separately and bake for 275 for an hour. Once they've cooled off, go ahead and paint it white because what we're going to be doing is painting a terrazzo look to these planters. So go ahead and go with a white base. Once the bottom of your planters are done, go ahead and paint the top of your planters. Now the great thing about polymer clay is with acrylic paint, it dries really quickly. So you don't have a lot of wait time with this project or with any of these projects. Once your white has dried, we're going I'm going to go in quickly with a light pink and make some triangles around. Once I've done that, I'm actually go going to go in with a detailed brush to make those lines crisp. Once I'm done with the pink, I'm going to go in with a dark green.
Lastly, I'm going to fill the rest of the spaces where I feel it looks a bit empty with a light green. Now, of course, you can go with whatever color combination you'd like. This just one goes with my room and two are literally my favorite colors. <laughs> Once your planters are dry, we are going to go in with jute. Jute is very um, thin, so this just fit perfectly with it. And I'm just going to make a knot, cut it, put another <laughs> part of jute in, make another a knot, cut it, and tie it from the top. And once you are done with that, here is our finished results. Guys, oh my goodness. Y'all, this is my absolute favorite one. Let me know in the comments below which one's yours, but this one hands down is mine. So for our modern planter, we are going to need a lot more polymer clay. So what helped me was breaking them up into pieces to warm up the polymer clay because it was a lot that we needed. Once you have everything warmed up and together, as you can see, it's a lot smoother. Now we're going to go ahead and roll it out. It's a square, so we want to go um, roll from the front. Switch it, roll from, again, you get what I'm saying, right? It's, you just gotta flip it. I gotta, you gotta roll and roll and roll and roll. And careful with air bubbles. If you know how to prevent air bubbles, I would love to know because that's the one thing I did struggle with on uh, this project was those friggin' air bubbles. But anywho, afterwards, we're gonna go ahead and cut out a nice and pretty square. Excuse me, I know my shaves, we're cutting out a rectangle. <laughs> so once we have done the sides and the bottom, I wanted a different shape on the top, so I just made a little swivel. Now that we've had our outline, go ahead and cut off all the excess pieces. Now we're going to roll out a, another piece and this piece is going to be what is actually going to hold our plant. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and lay it on top so I can get an idea of where I want to cut the top to make our, again, that little piece. There you go, just like that. Smooth it out a little bit more because I needed it to be a little bit longer. Make sure to carefully remove. And now I'm going to attach it. And it's kind of going to be our like little pocket. And I use this like little bottle just to help me lift it a little bit and I just continued smoothing everything together making sure everything was really really stuck on there because again I don't want anything to fall off after we bake it. But in order to keep our little pouch or pocket <laughs> lifted I went ahead and rolled up some wax paper and I just tuck, stuck it in there um, to lift it. I didn't know what else to use and obviously we can bake wax paper can't bake cardboard. I've looked that up. It's not very safe. Then I went ahead and made a hole on the top and three holes on the bottom for drainage. 
and baked for 275 for an hour and 30 minutes. Once it was cooled off, I went ahead and went in with sandpaper just to sand the sides or anything that I just wanted to smooth out. Once I smoothed everything out, I went ahead and went in with this metallic aged copper, which was the closest I could found, find to rose gold. And I sprayed away. I used this box to keep everything contained. Once it was dry, I went ahead, flipped it over, and sprayed the back. It took about a day for everything to dry, but once she did, this was the final result. Look! I ended up putting a pillow in there and I was just really happy with the final result. Let me know what you guys think. Alright guys, that's it for this video. So I appreciate you watching till the end. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I appreciate you again sticking to the end with me. And I will see you in the next one. But don't forget to keep it artsy.